The tragic passing of legendary MMO creator Brad Eridun McQuaid is still fresh in a lot of people's minds. And especially for those of us in the Pantheon Rise of the Fallen community, since he was the game's originator, I think we'll be feeling the effects of this loss for quite some time. But the developers are committed to keeping his legacy alive through the game, so the show must go on, and I think one of the ways that we can heal through this is to remember the good times. So let's take a quick look back at just a few of the best Eridun moments from the Pantheon developer streams. This is Buzz Grimm TV. Learn, laugh, level up. This first clip comes from a stream with Co-Carnage, where the group is fighting in a region of Avendir's Pass called Hangor. Now watch closely as the North Tusk Seer gets mesmerized on the right edge of your screen. But the mess is broken just a few seconds later, and then it immediately turns around and kills the enchanter that mezzed it. So basically, it was every enchanter's worst nightmare. <laughs> well, this actually kept happening several more times throughout the stream, and if you haven't already figured out why, later in that stream, Joppa realized that it was because Eridun, who was playing as a ranger, was frequently using an ability called Glass Arrow. A little bit. That Glass Arrow is uh, has an AE component. Whoops. <laughs> Famous last words. Whoops. Okay. Whoops. I tried to get at least one whoops uh, per stream, so. <laughs> yep. They're different tiers. And let's roll right into his next whoops moment by actually going all the way back to the first Twitch stream the Visionary Realms team ever did, which was in March 2016. And in this clip, Eridun was given the fairly simple task of just pulling an orc or two from another camp in Avendir's Pass. You got two there on the right, or we can go, we can hang to the left if you want. Probably hang to the left. Oh, yep, we gotta wait. oh no. Oh gosh. Oh boy. <laughs> You're on your own, man. Yeah, sorry, Brad. <laughs> I can't get involved in that. <laughs> Whoops. Oh, boy. That would be me being bad. <laughs> uh, <laughs> we got a little, uh... That was awesome. Got a little antsy there, maybe? We may want to hang to the right. Uh, yeah, that, that might not have been the right route. <laughs> and now that brings us to the best Eridun moment from all the Pantheon developer streams, which comes from their stream with comic book artist Jim Lee. And by the way, Jim Lee was a good friend and fan of Brad, who drew a lot of fan art, including this awesome sketch of Eridun. And in March 2018, he had a chance to join up with the Pantheon devs for an adventure in Halnir Cave. And when the group finally arrived at the lair of Nashura, we were gifted with not only the best Eridun moment, but one of the best moments in all of the Pantheon dev streams so far. Uh, we meet again. Oh, yeah. The mask that, that I had one of those masks. <laughs> Nashura. Or is it Silent G? What is it? Ganesh or Nash? Nashura. Nashura. All right. This, this music's creepy. Um, I think ah! oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> GG, Brad. See you later, dude. <laughs> but, oh, really? do, you guys, do you guys hear him screaming on the other side? Oh, ow. Ooh. I'm tanking the boss. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. Yeah, you oh, are. Man. Can, you, can you open this? No? <laughs> um, Alright, well. <laughs> Yeah, that, was that was one step too far. Yeah. <laughs> and with that, I hope you enjoyed this look back at just a few of the best moments from the one and only Eridun. He will always be missed dearly, and I don't think any amount of tribute videos could ever really do him justice. But like I said earlier, the best way to honor his legacy is to finish what he started with Pantheon. The Visionary Realms team is already moving forward with this, but of course there's still a lot of work left to be done. So if you want to help make Brad's dream a reality sooner rather than later, I'd encourage you to join me in supporting them in this journey. Whether that be making a pledge on their website, sending the developers an encouraging message, or even just telling anyone you can about the game, it can all make a difference. And speaking of which, I've got a lot more Pantheon videos on the way, so I'll see you in the next one.